Hi everyone, happy Sunday, happy Chinese New Year. It is the year of the rooster and it's the fire rooster for this year. Let's see what this year has to bring. You know, it's been an interesting month uh, for a lot of us. Uh, it's a time of shift and a time of change. And I thought I'd spend, you know, just a couple minutes sharing with you some thoughts I've had for the week. It's been a really interesting week. Uh, unfortunately, earlier in the week on Monday, we lost a very close, dear family friend uh, to cancer, to ovarian cancer. And it was very difficult and quite traumatizing to watch her at a very young age uh, lose the battle because she put up quite a fight. And, you know, after honoring her and going through the funeral on Monday, I had to find a way within me to have energy to muster up to be ready uh, for the Dr. Oz show recording on Friday in New York. And there was a part of me that thought, I don't know if I could do this and this is gonna be tough. And I spoke with the producers and they said, just just please be here for us because this is a segment that we think is really important. So I, I honored my word and I went to do the segment. And it was interesting because I was looking for some kind of a sign that I was supposed to do that segment. I was looking for something to prove to me that the universe wanted me to share the story of how healing turmeric and those medicinal, um, you know, kind of approaches that have been available for thousands of years to help suffering and help ease pain and anxiety. And I get to the show, and I have to tell you a little bit. Um, the last show I did, I was speaking with a lovely producer, associate producer, Silvana, and I told Silvana that I was reading a book called The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein. Gabra Bernstein, I think, is lovely, amazing, beautiful um, woman who is kind of known as a, as a spirit junkie. She's so funny and wise and just sends her message so well about how to be spiritual and kind of be hip and cool at the same time. So I've always just followed her and I read her book a couple months ago and then when I saw Silvana the last time I was on Dr. Oz, I told Silvana, you've got to read this book. It's amazing. I love it. So as I went back on Friday, to record another segment, I saw Silvana and I said, Silvana, have you read this book yet? And she said, you know what? It's on my to-do list. I'm going to be going out of town for a little bit and I'm going to bring the book with me. And I said, I'm so excited because you're just going to love the book. The book is amazing and you really need to read it. Well, one more thing. I was speaking to a, a dear friend of mine, Vishali, who had lost her father just very recently. And her and I were speaking before I flew out for the show. And I was telling her all this about the fact that I read this book and in the book, she talks about, uh, Gabrielle talks about Kriya Yoga, which is an amazing tool to help balance your mind, balance your chakras, and just get connected with yourself. And Vishali said, you know what? I've been thinking about doing Kriya Yoga, and she was talking to some of her family members about it. And I said, well, check out the book, and you and I, let's do some Kriya Yoga together. And she sent me some links. So fast forward to Friday, the show, as I was chatting with Silvana about the book, and as I'd already spoken with Vishali about the book, I finished my segment, I head downstairs to the dressing room to change so I could head back and catch my flight back to Chicago. And lo and behold, I walk to my dressing room and right in front of me, literally right in front of me, is Gabrielle Bernstein, the author of the book, The Universe Has Your Back. I honestly, I wanted to like walk up to her and touch her and just say, are you real? Because I had been speaking about her for about a month. I had spoken to my girlfriend about her the weekend, the week before. I had talked to the producer about her. I didn't know that Gabrielle Bernstein was actually downstairs and that same day recording a segment with Dr. Oz. And I, I said, Gabrielle, you're going you're gonna to believe this because this is how you think that we kind of co-created this experience. Um, you were here. I wanted you to be here. I wanted to see you. And you manifested yourself. And you made this experience meaningful for me because not only the show was meaningful, the show was amazing. And I, not only do I love being there to record these segments because they're so powerful, but there was a part of me that was conflicted about leaving my family and going out of town during a time of mourning. And by seeing her there, by being able to take a picture with her, which I posted below, I want you to know that the universe really does have your back. And even though there's times where you think it's really tough and life is stressful and there's a lot of things going on right now, I, I'm looking at Facebook and saying, oh my God, I'm, I'm worried. I, three people I have known in the last one month have died from a heart attack, less than age 55, 
okay? There's something going on, and I'm, I'm worried about the stress. I'm worried about our toxic environment that we're exposed to all these different things, not just actual toxins and pollutants, but toxic language and toxic thoughts and toxic things that are happening out there. So I'm gonna ask you just to, to do me a favor. Um, please just take some time for yourself. Do some Kriya Yoga. Um, read Gabby Bernstein's book, The Universe Has Your Back. Still speak your voice, still honor your throat chakra and speak, um, but just be mindful of your well-being. I, I love you all and I want you to take care of yourselves. And I just wanted to send this message to you on a Sunday because I thought you could spend some time processing this and just letting yourself be in the moment and realizing that at some level there's a meaning behind all of this and we'll eventually figure it out, but just stay strong and I love you. Take care. Bye.